Today we're going to review the Mayo Organic Mangango Oil Exfoliating Shampoo. And if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. Right now my hair is in a very old foot cell um, that didn't go that well. So it was under a little turban all week. I could have twisted it back up to make sure it doesn't get so tangled, but I didn't. So um, we got this now. Um, I usually don't like clarify my hair that much, which is why I don't do that. But um, I was interested when I saw this at Walmart the other day and really wanted to try it. So the Mangongo Oil Exfoliating Shampoo. Um, it says it's to clarify and deep cleanse to remove product buildup. So this is an eight ounce container and we're gonna go ahead and try it on our hair. Let's read the information about it. Our exfoliating shampoo with Mongongo oil is the perfect solution for removing excess buildup from products or dirt excess oil, which is what I have. Um, this shampoo not only cleanses, but removes build up without depleting the hair of its natural moisture. It's infused with certified organic ingredients to nourish and promote healthy hair and scalp. The directions say, apply a dime-sized amount into your hand and massage on scalp on on the scalp on wet hair until lather. Leave on for two minutes, rinse with warm water, repeat. Once follow up with our protein free hydrating conditioner with my long oil. Um I actually didn't see the conditioner so we're just gonna do what we want this. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to the and wet my hair first and then I'll be back. Alright, we're back and our hair is pretty much wet. Um, so when I do shampoos, I like to section my hair um, in order for it to be easier for me to clean each section. I'm going to go ahead and section my hair into four sections. Usually I do a pre clean but I don't do a pre clean this time. And um, so we're just gonna section our hair. Yeah. Alright. So we got our hair section. Um, since I have low porosity hair, I'm gonna go ahead and go in again with some water to make sure my hair is drenched enough. Um, again, it says apply a dime size amount into your hands and then massage into your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take about that much, about a dime size. And then if I need to add more, I will. It smells really, really good. It kind of got like a floral, floral scent. So just by applying it to these first two sections on this side, I can say that it does lather really well. Um, it is very, very smooth on the hand, and um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have so far. So let me finish these next two sections, and then I'll go ahead and rinse it out, and then come back and do another lather, so just say real quick, repeat one time. the first 
her shampoo. I can tell you that my hair is definitely stripped of everything. Um, there's like a squeaky clean feeling. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to go back in with it one more time. So, hmm, let's just try. And then we'll give our final review of the product. but um, this is a really good one. Um, I usually do the, when I clarify my hair, I usually use the Aztec, I can't even say it, Aztec Indian Club. Um, I don't really like it because it's like really messy. That's one reason why I don't clarify my hair that often. Um, and I think I found me a new one. That's way less messy. Um, <laughs> So this is a really, really, really good shampoo. Um, yeah, it clarifies your hair, it deep cleans your hair. Um, you know how I was saying at first, when the first wash I did, it was like I could really feel that it was squeaky, squeaky, clean. It is, but now that I did the second wash, my hair feels really clean, but it doesn't feel dry. And I was really scared about that when I went in for the second um, wash that I, my hair was going to feel like dry and brittle and, and it doesn't feel like that. Um, my curls are actually looking really defined. It's like my curls got like a fresh slate to them um, so they were redefined. And another thing that probably attributed to it a little bit, a little, little bit, is that I did clear from my hair technically. So that some of the first thing I went away. But my last review was for the Mayo, or a couple of years ago, I don't remember. But it was for the Mayo Organics um, Baba Sue Oil and Mint Deep Conditioner, and that's a Protein Moisture Balance Conditioner Deep Conditioner, and I never used that before. And I have barely used protein, <laughs> um, only occasionally. But that might have attributed to my Curls, curl definition, as you can see. So, but I think the clarifying shampoo, shampoo, <laughs> really helps like clarify my hair and allow my curls to flourish. Yeah, I got frizz. Yeah, my roots are puffy, but most people's roots are somewhat puffy. Like I have a moisturized. I am not put my knee conditioner in. I haven't done none of that. So, but out of five, which I usually rate all my product reviews out of five, out of five, I would give this one a five. Um, I think this is going to be in my collection of the, I'm not knee conditioner, shampoo, clarifying shampoo to be specific. Um, because sometimes, like, if I do a wash and gel, my, that gel, like, so sometimes when I wash my hair, um, I also use um, sulfate-free shampoos. Like, for instance, I usually use Shea Moisture shampoos, or um, and the one that I've been using lately is the Africa Pride Moisture Miracle One, um, and it's sulfate-free, so it's not, like, deep, deep cleaning, like this one it did today. Um, so um, now I have something to like really clear from my hair, especially when I use gels and stuff like that, heavy butters, beautiful scouts and stuff like that. 
So I would highly recommend this. Um, Claire, it basically says to clarify and be cleanse to remove product buildup. And it did do that today. I can't deny that. Um, my hair is definitely clarified. My scalp is clarified. It kind of, now that I'm sitting there, it kind of feels like dry. So I'll probably have to put some like oil on it. But the purpose of this shampoo is to clarify. So it did that. Um, and I don't have any complaints with that. So if you want me to do another review on another shampoo, um, or even maybe the African Fire shampoo that I use now, if you want me to do that review, please leave a comment below. Make sure that you subscribe. Because um, I mean, you may see the video, but you might as well subscribe. I mean, you want to see how I do my hair, right? Right? So you might as well subscribe because I have like two to three videos put out every week. So if you want to see more of me, more of me make sure you subscribe, click the red button, click the bell, comment below any products you want me to review. Like this video if you want more videos like this. And I will see you next time.